Hello to all my LGBTQIA people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira Michael and I'm here to motivate you to live your best gay life. For more gay advice, motivation, and optimism from a friendly face, click the subscribe button below and follow me on Instagram at Kira.Michael. How mental health support is saving our LGBT youth. All right, so I found this pretty amazing article on thegoodmanproject.com. And I'm gonna link this article below. It talks about the unique mental health challenges that queer youth face. And not just any queer youth, it also gets specific and talks about black queer youth. So they had an event and the event was called Hearing Their Stories, where students talk about how they handle their mental health. So I have a couple key points I wanna talk about from the article that I loved. When compared to people that identify as straight, Queer individuals are three times more likely to experience a mental health condition and two and a half times more likely to experience depression, anxiety, and substance abuse. Queer youth are four times more likely to attempt suicide, experience suicidal thoughts, and engage in self-harm. LGBTQ youth experience violence and bullying nearly twice as much as children who are or are presumed to be heterosexual. I thought this was a great way that they said this because Sometimes people that are gay have to act straight to protect themselves from being bullied. Black queer students are at greater risk for mental health illness, suicidal thoughts, and suicide attempts. Greater attention must be paid attention to supporting us. Keyword, support. Black students need the support, keyword, most, but are not seeking it. There is a stigma within the black community against acknowledging mental health needs and seeking help to manage their mental health challenges. So those facts are a little disheartening and definitely very diseasing. So let's talk about some of the action. Let's focus on like the good and what we can do and what is being done. So my biggest thing is support. I've noticed that several times mentioned in the article, they don't know where to go to. They don't know who to turn to. They don't know what to do. So we need to start overwhelming them with support so they have places to go to so they have people to turn to so they can figure out what to do when they're faced with adversity as an adult myself when i'm confronted with someone that is homophobic and they become judgmental aggressive they want to make you feel unwanted and uncomfortable how do you deal with those situations it's hard for us so just imagine as a kid they need us to guide them they need our support because they don't know how to do this this is all new to them and on top of that majority of them are just now coming out to themselves and they're trying to figure out and learn themselves and trying to do all that and try to survive basically that's tough. So getting through adversities and hard times is not even about sexuality, not even about race. Everybody goes through that. Of course, some go through that just a little bit more than others, but everybody has adversities. How do you get past that? How do you get through that? How do we help these kids stop violently getting through it and stop self-harming and committing suicide. So back to the article. So I love that they are open to receiving what these kids are going through. So I found two of the testimonies that I feel like resonated with me the most and that I thought had kind of like the most power and the answers as well. So I have a student from Harlan Community High School. Um, and this is in Chicago, Illinois. And the student says, I have learned coping skills from the WOW, which stands for Working on Womanhood and CARES prog Programs that I can rely on when my world is unbalanced. Black girls need support from organizations like WOW and CARES. Their staff and mentors never judge us. They are black women who understand our culture and who can relate to what we are going through. All right, and then the second one is from a graduate student of Meyer Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And they also are a survivor of the shooting that happened at that high school. So they said the following, black students need support the most, but are not seeking it. A lot of my high school classmates wouldn't go get help after the mass shooting because of the stigma attached to the black community. And I touched on this a little bit earlier. The stigma within the black community is against acknowledging mental health needs and seeking help to manage their mental health challenges. We need you and other leaders to help educate our community and let us know it is not only acceptable to seek mental health support, it is necessary. Oh my God, that is completely completely true. Here we have two high schoolers talking about how when an adult 
came to help them, basically a mentorship program, they got through it. They learned to conquer adversities. They learned to see the better side and they learned what to do. How else would you know what to do if no one is telling you or teaching you how to do something? That mental health aspect, I love myself even though nobody else loves me. I accept myself even though nobody else accepts me. All those practical self-development things, you don't get taught that in school. So who teaches you that? So I think it's interesting that both of these students were saying how when these mentorship programs were implemented and when they had someone else telling them like mental health is important. This is how you do that. This is how you do this. Um, let's show you what to strive for. Let's show you to take care of yourself. Let's show you how to love yourself, which I'm 100% sure that that is the basics of what they were teaching these kids. They started to see mental health in a different aspect and they started to really think about, oh, what's going up? going on up here is actually really important and that dictates a lot of my destiny so yeah i think that having that mental health support is literally saving our lgbt youth's lives i mean think about it in your own shoes whoever you are wherever you are whatever you're going through what would it do to have somebody that went through that come to you and be like oh yeah that is not an easy task but let me tell you what i did to give you some experience through my eyes and see if this helps you. Let me be a listening ear so you can talk to me about what you're going through because I went through similar stuff and I can identify with you. Let me be there to encourage you because I came out on the other side and I want to help you come out the other side. I can't do it for you. You have your own 100% experience, but I can relate to a certain extent. Let me help you get to the other side. Let me root for you so you can get to the other side with me. Just me saying that, does that not help ease some of that dis-ease that's, that's within you? Does that not add a sense of calm and peace to you to feel like, I can actually do this? That is why it is important, especially for all those of us in the LGBT community that are already out to reach back and help those kids. We have to start opening our arms and being more aggressive about helping and supporting them because they're going to be the next generation. They're at some point going to be running this show. What helped me tremendously was watching YouTube videos. I used to watch Jacob Kahainor. He used to have like, like a cast of gay black people just to see other gay black people making it through, smiling, laughing, joking, and like they genuinely seemed happy. It helped me. And of course I got help from other people. I didn't just get help from gay black men, but whenever I did get help from a gay black man, it helped me way more. There's just like little stuff that is different when you're you're gay, black, and you're a male. I don't know. Comment below any of my other gay black men that are out there. Is it different or is it just me? So yeah, think about it. How would you benefit from more support? Knowing that you could benefit so much from getting more support in your life, why don't you start paying it forward so we can support other people? After you get yourself together, like I don't want you to overwhelm yourself. Get yourself together, get yourself to a good point and a good place where your cup is full so that the overflow you can give to other people. For more gay advice, motivation, and optimism from a friendly face, click the subscribe button below and follow me on Instagram at Kira.Michael. And to all of my LGBTQIA family, live your best gay life.